about how to create a bash hose with cloud formation so i'm going to run through all those individual steps which will create and i'll also link all the necessary documents and a medium article which i wrote on this in the description so first we need to create a yaml file of cloud formation so first we so this is the yaml file i'm going to create so first we're going to set some parameters which we'll take in as such as key name pass so in order to search into the ec2 instance we need a key pass so we're going to create that first and accept it through this and we need a vpc i'm going to create a vpc outside of the cloud formation because we might need the vpc from another running server so vpc is going to be another parameter and then a public subnet and a private subnet which you could assign so that a bastion host can take the public and the private can be used for the other private instances so then we're going to create a mapping of all the regions and its ami then i'm going to start with the resources so in resources section i'm going to first create a bastion host with a network interface of the security group and the public subnet so then a private instance i'm going to create a private instance of the same thing but without any public uh, subnets i'm going to use a private subnet and then i'm going to create a security group and open up tcp port 22 so that i can ssh into the any system any private instance and then later on i'm going to like show an output of all the ssh instances and commands and you can just like copy paste it and run it so this is like the overall yaml file so i will attach it in the description also so then okay yeah so in order to first create our instance i'll just walk through the very first basics so first we need to create a vpc so i'm gonna assume you guys already have vpc but i'm gonna run again uh i'm gonna make a new vpc create and run it so go click on your vpcs and click on create create vpc i'm going to give a vpc name alvis vpc and then i'm going to put a subnet of 0.0.0.6 and 16 so leave the rest as default so yeah vpc has been created so now we got to go create two subnets one public and one private so i'm going to fast forward this So I've created a two subnet and each subnet has a masking of 10.0.1 and 10.0.2. So I'm going to go create a internet gateway. So click on internet gateway and give it a name. So a internet gateway has been created. So go to the internet gateway and attach it to the VPC. So select your VPC over here and click on attach VPC. So now that it's been attached, now go to the routing table and create a new routing table. Don't do not use the main routing table. Just use a create new one. I'll just routing table and select your VPC. So a routing table has been created. So click on your routing table, go to routes and click on edit routes and click on add routes and give it open another open thing and then click on internet gateway and you will see an open internet gateway over here and then click on save routes so close this and go to subnet association and click on edit subnet association and click on your private public subnet sorry yeah click on your public subnet and save it as an association so that the public gateway like the internet gateway has been associated to the subnet so that's about creating a vpc now let's go create a cloud formation go scroll down to cloud formation yeah cloud formation over here so go to cloud formation and then so let's go create a stack for that template click on with a new resource and you got to upload a file choose i created a file click on next you you, you got to give the stack name so i'm going to give 
always yeah system. I'm gonna select my already existing key pair and then I'm gonna select my subnet of private subnet which I've been created over here and then a public subnet and then you gotta give your VPC and then go and click on next you, you, you don't have to mess with any of these and then go and click on create stack so that should start the process of creating a stack so I'm gonna fast forward this Now the, all the resources have been created and then has been instantiated. So now we have a value of the command which you could just copy paste and run it on your system. So it's basically SSH. Make sure that you have saved your SSH, with SSH in your system with SSH add command. So go open your terminal. So just copy paste it over here and click on enter. So type S over here, and then it's going to ask you again to type S. So type it again. And then, yeah, you are into the private host with one simple command and the cloud formation has created the entire stack for you. So any questions, feel free to ask me and then all the needed documents are in, inside the description.